everyone, it's Monica with Scrap Saturdays and this video is just to show you my completed um, pet album that I made for a friend of ours who stayed with our dog while we were away. So it's a basic, basic album. Nothing fancy. Um, I always hate making mini albums when I don't put pictures in it. I know I've mentioned that before. I don't know. My brain doesn't wrap itself around it. So the more simple it is, the easier it is for me to do it as a gift for somebody. Um, so I used um, envelopes, just plain basic envelopes. They so happen to be from Hallmark. Um, my sister-in-law gave them to me. And this is my little test run of what I was doing with my instructions. I use the pet stack paper collection from Die Cuts with a View and I use the 12 by 12. I just so happen to have the smaller one as well. And um, I use the wild card cartridge for one of the envelopes on the inside because I really like the edging on it and it was the envelope on page 66 and I used the blackout feature on that. Um, and then I also have the paper pups cartridge and I used a few of the shapes and uh, puppies from that. Uh, I don't know if you can see my desk, it's a total disaster, but I did use a recollection stamp set um, throughout the album as well. That's the one with all the puppies and doggies and the paw prints and stuff like that. I used all my big stamps as well um, for backgrounds and uh, I'll go through, through it with you. Um, this is just a, a, a luggage tag from the dollar store that I got. I still haven't written anything in it because I do want to leave it so that the recipient can personalize it the way she wants to. This is an actual dog collar and it's got these little blinged out. This is a doggy bone and that's a heart. This is just some twine that I added because it relates to the inside of the album. And this is just chipboard um, and I cut out some extra paper. I didn't uh, didn't glue down the, the collar yet because I want her to be able to add her own pictures and bring it to size and then I'll explain to her that she can glue it down herself. So on the edges I used some different um, pattern paper to clean up my edging but I didn't totally um, cover it around. I didn't do the whole wrap around version because I wanted it to be raw. That was part of the look that I was going for, like a tattered and torn doggy look. So this is the envelope that I did cut out with my Cricut. I'm going to be putting her a thank you card on the inside. And so throughout the album, what you're going to see is that I've got these um, cutouts of the words and it's just from the 12 by 12 sheet that comes with the 12 by 12 collection. So this is what I've got left. And I cut out all the words and I inked the edges. And I did a lot of interesting things throughout the album um, with that, as well as this sheet, um, which I think I'm gonna send along with her so that she can finish up. So these are my background stamps. That's the doggy from the other stamp. And then the pages are very basic, like I said. I cut them out, I use my corner rounder with, I don't know which one that one's called. It's the Deco Edge. And I did a lot of distressing. I did some embossing here with the puppy paws, which I think is so cute. And just added a little rhinestone there. That's some of the cutouts that I used from my Cricut from the um, the paper pups. And this is the envelope. So this is what I did. I glued the envelope closed, just like as if you were going to close it to send it off. So I closed this part here and then I tore it open just a natural motion like as if I was opening my own mail. And then I inked the edges. And then on the inside I made these plain photo mats very basic. I didn't even stamp these because um, Danielle, who I'm giving this to, she wants to get into scrapbooking. So I'm trying to leave as much open space and creative opportunity for her own whatever she wants to do, whether she just wants to put the picture there and add some stickers. So it's very, very basic. Um, I 
cut out these tabs using uh, from my kitchen cartridge and I'll be putting all the dimensions and sizes close to there. I, I try to write down everything um, on my blog so if you do want to make a similar album or just know roughly the size of this one it'll be on my blog on scrapsaturdays.com. These are just little brads that I've had for a very long time and their bones and puppy paws and it just fits back into the envelope which like I said was really inked up. I used a lot of my stamps on there again and that's the back part and I, I just love the way the embossed puppy paws not only feel but look. Again just using the pattern paper here I used my uh, scallop punch to, uh, I'm sorry, my desk is a disaster, to pretend like the dog had bitten off a piece there. Lots of inking. I haven't written their names on there yet for the dogs that are gonna get this. And here I used, again, the die cuts from that paper, ink the edges, and so it says nose, ears, and tail. And again, some more embossing with the puppy prints or the paw prints. Here I made a banner with the um, same paper collection, cutting out everything, cutting out all the die cuts and stuff. Added some buttons here to my background stamp. On this envelope, I, I used this awesome stamp set that I've got for a long time and it's just got these arrows and directions. I think it's for traveling but I just love the texture and just the, I don't know, it, it just reminded me of puppies. It's just so cute so I thought why not. On this insert I didn't do anything too fancy. I just used my date stamp and I put January, February, March and April. I didn't continue on the back side. Again I'm trying to leave her as much room as I can to give her the creative touch that she might want. Here I use that scallop punch again for the bite. And here I pretend like the song was bark wolf wolf bark bark. And these are bones that I cut out from the Paper Pups collection and I glued them together and then I tied some ribbon around them. And here I put a paper photo mat just as some examples of what she can do on the other pages if she wants to. Here's another Paper Pup that I cut out and I put some googly eyes on that guy because I thought it was cute. And this is from the paper collection but overlaying my stamps I, I tried to pretend that they were stamps. And these inserts again, same thing as I did before, just using the um, the paper collection of the words that I cut out. On this envelope, I did the same thing with the, the bite taken out of there, cut with my Cricut, just the paw and ink that up. Added some lace trim. Just got a female and a male dog, so I thought lace would be fun in the red colors, keeping them pretty strong, pretty, I don't know, not too frou-frou, I think the colors would be. Picking up from the plaid here, I tried to mimic that with some silver embossing with my stamp. And there's another one of those really cute um, brads. On this envelope, I just loved it. I tried to make it look like as if it was a parcel. So I glued the twine all the way around, but I only glued it in the middle here and over there. And on these tags, I took the stamp set and I embossed the bone and the two words. Again, this is just paper collection, some rhinestone cutouts. Some more buttons and that's the last page and that's just the back cover and I used my bind it all and it turned out fantastic I'm very happy with this um, it's hard for me I, I love putting in photos so I hope that Danielle enjoys it and she has fun you know adding her own little pictures or whatever. I didn't put any journaling tags in there for her and whatnot, but uh, I believe I'll be making another one of these um, with my own family photos, different theme, but uh, same uh, concept. I just love the way that it turned out. I really liked the messiness of the envelopes. I like that it seemed, you know, natural to me that that's how I would tear them and ink them up. And I love the tabs that I was able to cut out to size with my Cricut. And um, yeah, it's not too bulky. It didn't turn out too crazy. I didn't add anything um, that wouldn't allow 
uh, for it to close properly. Again, the collar expands, so after Danielle adds her picture, she can do whatever she wants. If you want to know how I made it, or if you'd like to get some measurements down, if that helps you out to make one yourself. Um, I'm going to put down everything that I wrote down while I was doing this process. And thanks for watching my video. Have a great day.